Welcome to the Bookkeeping for Farmers Using QuickBooks video series. This video was developed by the Center for Land-Based Learning with funding and support from California FarmLink and USDA Risk Management Agency. In this video, we will talk about the chart of accounts. The Center for Land-Based Learning has developed a model chart of accounts specifically for the small diversified farm. We will show you how to download, import, and work with this chart of accounts in later videos. But first, we have to talk about a few basic concepts. When you first set up your books, the most important thing to get right is the chart of accounts. What is an account? It is the fundamental unit of bookkeeping. It can be a real account, like a bank account or a credit card account, for example, Bank of America Checking or Costco Credit Card. It can be a categorical account, such as an income or an expense account, like the income account, Farmer's Market Sales, or the expense account, Rent Paid. Or it can be an account that we use to track what we owe to our creditors or what is owed to us, like the liability account, FarmLink Loan, or the Asset Account, Accounts Receivables. As we hinted earlier, accounts have types. These types are Assets, Liabilities, Equity, Income, and Expenses. Assets can be accounts like Checking and Savings Accounts, PayPal Accounts, Accounts receivables, an account tracking money that is owed to you. Equipment owned. Land owned. And intangible assets like patents and brand recognition. Liability accounts can be accounts like operating loans, like a farm link loan. Accounts payables, which track money that you owe to your vendors. Sales tax that you have collected from customers, but still owe to the State Board of Equalization, for example. Payroll taxes that you owe on your weekly payroll, but that you only remit quarterly, for example. And accounts tracking mortgages that you have with a bank. Equity accounts can be accounts tracking owner contributions, opening balance equity, that is money that you had in your business checking account before starting to track your books in QuickBooks. Owner's draws, which are negative equity. And retain earnings, which are your current and prior year's net profits or losses. Income accounts are accounts tracking your various types of sales, depending on your business, like CSA sales, wholesale sales, farm stand sales, or restaurant sales, etc. Expense accounts are accounts that track expenses incurred during the course of doing business that are not assets. Farmers should think of their expenses as primarily of three types. Administration and overhead expenses, like insurance costs, professional services, education, office supplies, etc. Farming expenses like tractor fuel, land rental, compost, supplies, seeds, etc. And marketing expenses, which are expenses incurred while selling one's goods, such as farmer's market fees, packaging in boxes, organic certification, etc. For future reference, certain accounts are used in creating financial statements. Assets, liabilities, and equity accounts are used in creating the balance sheet, while income and expense accounts are used in creating the profit and loss statement. But we will talk a lot more about financial statements in later videos. In QuickBooks, the chart of accounts looks like this. Let's take a look at this model chart of accounts developed by the Center for Land-Based Learning specifically for a small diversified farm, which we call Beautiful Farm. In our case, we are using QuickBooks 2019 on our Mac laptop using macOS 10.15.2 Catalina. 
you can see that each account has been assigned a unique number by which it can be identified. These numbers are arbitrary, but convention has it that each account type start with a specific number. In general, accounts are listed in the following sequence. Assets, liabilities, equity, income, and expenses. So, asset accounts always start with the number 1. Liability accounts start with 2. Equity accounts start with 3. Income accounts start with 4. And expense accounts with 5 or greater numbers. In our case, we have assigned the 5,000 number series to administration, the 6,000 series to farming costs, and the 7,000 series to marketing expense accounts. Notice that a gap between account numbers allows for adding accounts in the future. The Center for Land-Based Learning has developed this chart of accounts combining expert knowledge with the feedback of small farmers who have used it and improved it. In the next video, we will take a more in-depth look at the expense accounts given in this model chart of accounts.